It's time for the Douglas Coleman Show. Mr. Smooth and Savvy is joined by guests from all walks of life. From the entertainment industry to authors to political and social commentators. The famous and not so famous. The controversial and the light and fluffy. We have it all. Now, here's Douglas Coleman. Okay, please welcome to the Douglas Coleman Show, Virginia Bennett. Hi, Virginia. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Oh, doing great. Thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. So thank you've you got so a book... much for having me. Oh, you're welcome. So you've got a book out called Snowed. Uh, is this your first book, or have you written other books? Uh, no, this is my first book. Okay. Just to give a little backstory on yourself, what were you doing prior to this book? Well, I have uh, spent my life, I've grown up in agriculture in California, and uh, I've just spent a lot of time with my um, family and in from farm crops to, to a cattle ranch, uh, that type of thing. Oh, okay, great. And the book came out of a bad relationship, it looks like, that you had. Why don't you tell us how you met this guy, and then we'll just kind of go from there. Okay, so I had uh, been previously married, and with uh, with I have two I had two children. I still have two children, but I had two children at the time when I when we div- divorced my first marriage. And then it was about five years later, if, or about three years, a friend of mine just totally convinced me I had to do match dot. Or excuse me, I had to do an internet a website um, dating. And uh, I, I reluctantly did, you know, and then, and then it was interesting. It was, it was fun meeting different people. And this is how I met a person that I ended up falling madly in love with and just felt I had found my soulmate. And he became everything that I had, had wanted or talked about or um, his desires became, were my desires. And uh, we became married, and 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 then I found out that through the marriage that um, I had been married to somebody who was not who they who they said they were. He was a sociopath. Okay. Uh, and I want to. And I, so. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, and I and I wrote, I wrote the book because the situation that I was in, I really wanted to help others. I wanted to help other people that found themselves in my situation. And that's what I, I, do, I talk about in the book. Okay. How long were you dating before you decided to get married? Two years, which I felt were, was, you know, that was a good, good time period. But, you know, even then I had, I had some red flags. There, there were some stories that, uh, you know, weren't, weren't told the same way uh, twice. And there, there were some things that, but my heart and, and my, uh, you know, very uh, convincing that this was a thing, you know, we were to do and it, it'd be great and, and that kind of thing. What did he do for a living? Well, he was in computer sales, in software sales. Okay. And he'd been doing that for a long time. When he came yeah. to your relationship, did he appear to have money? Did he appear to be well off or at least, you know, self-supporting? <laughs> He had been married a couple of t- times. Well, he'd been married three times and told me that each one, you know, each one he lost. Or, and I do know in a divorce, it's very costly financially. And he told me that they took everything and that he was left with, with hardly anything but his home and his job. And, you know, I mean, I believed him because I know that a divorce is, is uh, it, it, again, is very financially costly. Um, but he had a very nice home. You know, everything seemed, appeared okay from the outside. Okay, prior to him marrying you, he had been married three times already? Yes, yes. Now, I know, you're probably wondering why. Well, you know? that, to me, that's <laughs> a red flag red right flag away. You know? Yeah. yeah. Did, that didn't uh, raise any concerns you know, for you? He, he was so charming, very charming, very charismatic, you know, gave me this kind of like, at times, you know, we got to build a foundation and, you know, taking his time about getting to know one another. So those kinds of things, I felt, oh, he's, he's pretty stable, you know, that he just got himself in a 
horrible, you know, bad situations where each wife, it was their fault. It was their, you know, they, they, they were to blame. And, and there again, you know, I, I should know better that it takes two, you know. But he was very convincing. And um, it, it's that, it's hard to describe the feeling when somebody is, is which is which was wrong, which was all made up, but a reflection of everything that I am. But that's all part of his mo. That was all part of the the con man that he was. He blamed you for everything that went wrong. Well, no, his other wives, his 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 ex wives. Oh, he, he blamed them yeah. for. Well, and then, and, <clears throat> okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's why with the, with this married three times, you know, you're wondering, and exactly that's a red flag in itself. But he was very convincing that. Um, you know, it was not his fault. Okay. You said you had children from a previous marriage. How old were your kids when you got married to this guy? Um, my daughter was about 12, and then my son was about 14, 15. How did they react? 14. How did they react to him? Well, my daughter it was, a, was very good. I mean, he was, again, that I think, too, is his way with and knowledge and, ha- and conversing with women. Um, you know, really made her feel special and just a very nice relationship as far as um, helping her with her sports and, and different things and homework. My son, in the beginning, was on to him, but I defended him. And their relationship, just as we got married, um, he, my son would not come and visit. I would have to go visit him at his father's. So your son pretty much knew right away that this guy was no good. Yeah, he would question me, you know, why certain things that I won't I won't say here, but that is or in the book, just questioning things that, you know, I I just you know d- defended again that you know we're working on our farm on our ranch and he's he's helping me do a lot of different things and and that was uh, yeah it didn't it didn't it didn't go that way either. Okay. <laughs> what do you think so. this guy's ultimate objective was with you i think that he does not he's just somebody who wants to live off of other people who um has has the sociopath and a, and a con man that they they want they are the victim themselves is what they feel and that other people owe them something when it comes down to it and they're there, the things that I thought that he was about was just what he was listening to what I was talking about. And they're very good at that. So from the very beginning, they're going to be on and tune to what you're talking about to become that, where a lot of us, we just, well, you know, we visit with somebody or we, you know, first meet somebody, we share information that is in this in these instances that are held against us later. Um, there was a, a lady that has been on I think it was called Dirty John, and in that that was that was horrible. But he, people couldn't understand why was she with him. But again, he was everything. They're very good at convincing you of um, that they're who you want them to be. So you think it was money that was his primary it, it, sort of motivator with yes, you? Yes, 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 it, it was, and and the things that that I had versus that he what wanted to take. I was basically yes. Okay. Yes. And in the end, towards the end of the relationship, he stole my intellectual property. And that was, that was in light about it, you know, continuously. And there were then, then all, then things started to surface. And, and actually the universe had told, was, was, was telling me some things that I write about in the book that I didn't, it wasn't until the very end, I realized some things that, I didn't. I hadn't paid attention to if I had paid more attention to, and also my faith in God, and and I think there were a lot of things that were trying to help me, and then in the end, it, my faith is what helped get me through, and and resiliency is is what um, is how I feel that got me through, and I really wanted to help other people if I could that are in the si- situation that you know they're not alone. It's, it's embarrassing, but it but it happens, and it has nothing to do with who you are. What it was, and they that have have everything taken from them and uh, because they just can't get out. They don't know how to get out. Okay, so how long were you with him before you finally realized that you had to get out of this relationship? Five, five, five years. 
Five years. It was the fifth year. It's actually the fourth year that I was really wondering what I was going to do. And then the fifth year is when it just, that all came to a head. Was there one particular yeah. thing he did that sort of, oh, okay, that's it. The last straw, so to speak. Well, the last straw, I, I, w- I would say would be the relationship with my father and out on our farm. And, and then that, you know, they, they try to isolate you from friends and, and that kind of thing. It's like, you know, I, I was busy anyway. I didn't really care. To, you know, it, it didn't matter if I didn't see some of my friends. But when it came to my, to my father, who I knew was very sound and competent and their arguments and, and it just, it was relentless and that tore me apart. And I, you know, had to come to a point where I had to make a decision also. And that was, that was very difficult to go to believe my father, my husband. So your father was on to this guy as well as your son? He's he in the big he didn't my my dad didn't want me to get married, and uh, so there's some some situations situation there that that I that I write about. Um, but he eventually, you know, showed me his love and unconditional love, and and uh, which was which was wonderful. And then, but yeah, in the end, he just yeah he 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 did see it, but he couldn't and he couldn't see how I couldn't see it, but he was. He he loved me, and and my dad was going to stand, going to stand up for me and stand by me. Well, it's interesting that the men saw it and the women didn't, and uh, you know it makes the uh, the adage of love is blind. So that that's what it seems like to me is that there was a a disconnect between you, your daughter, and this guy. But the uh, your father and your son seemed to pick right up on it. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. Okay. Uh, so how long has it been? I mean, when did this relationship come to an end? Well, it was it was a, quite a few years ago. Uh, is that what you mean? How, how long have I been out of the relationship? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, 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 took, it took a good two years. It took a year that I, I was just devastated in finding out which after I was married to him from his previous wives, I, 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 it just was devastating what he was trying to do. But once I, I, I understood the pathology and the, the, um, what he was about, that, that really helped me, that, that helped me understand that I was not alone because the more I talked with people that this is something that, um, has happened to others and I wanted to help others in in my situation. So you got a divorce, right? Oh yes, yes. We we got yes. I'm sorry if I did not say that. Oh, yes. Okay. So, did you I, lose anything in the divorce? I mean, did were you able to get all of your property back? Yes, I was. I was, and that's why I feel so very fortunate because other people have not been as fortunate. Oh, that's good. That I do know. Yeah. Okay. And I have some books and I have resources at the back of the book, and um, and I have a website if people would like to to look at that to you know, read a little bit more about it and, and the, the resources also. Okay, yeah, give out your website, please. E- yes, it's uh, the website, okay, the website is snowedtruestory.com. Snowedtruestory.com. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Just All right. Words are. Well, mm-hmm. we're going to wind this down. Virginia, thanks so much for coming on and sharing your story. Uh, the book is out now? Yes. Yes, at Barnes & Noble or Amazon or, and some other places, too. On, uh, on, okay, how long has it been on, out? It's been out for a couple of years, for a year, a couple of years, two years now, yes. Oh, okay, well, I see a lot of reviews uh, from the sheets that your PR people send me. looks good. looks like uh, people Thank are you. liking the book, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I, I'm glad and, and hope that people will read it to help others. Okay. Well, again, thanks for coming on the show, and uh, best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you, Douglas. Thank you.